Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing the book Nancy Drew Diaries Curse of the Arctic Star and I cannot tell you how much I love this book. This is my first Nancy Drew Diaries book I've ever read and I've gotten, hook gotten hooked onto it so much. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys some very, very exciting things that happened in this book. So I think you guys should definitely, no matter what, stay tuned. I love this book so much and I'm sure you will too. So see you guys in a few seconds. Welcome back friends, so without any further ado, let's get on to this amazing, mysterious book. Well first off, Nancy is Nancy Drew is the main character in this book, and this book first starts off by Nancy and all of her friends, who are Bess, George, and Alan, they're all going on this cruise to Alaska. Well, the reason why they're going on this cruise is because one of Nancy's friends invited them. Well, not really in a good way. It's because a lot of strange things have been happening on the cruise just before it set sail. Like, for instance, Becca got these very threatening emails. So that's why Becca invited Nancy because she knows that Nancy is an amazing detective. So Nancy also invites all of her friends. And um, Nancy and her friends are just so excited while they're boarding the ship. And once they get on the cruise, they all go to the you know, like the deck part of the ship where everyone is enjoying the view before they um, sail off. Well then, um, you know, Nancy's friend, who is George, both of them go over to Becca and start talking about what's been happening on the, on the cruise. But then, like a few minutes later, a couple minutes later, they all hear this scream. And the scream comes from like the pool area. So everyone that's on the deck rushes over to the pool and sees what the chaotic, the chaos is happening. So it's unbelievable. Well, everyone sees that there's this dead body in the pool with blood all over it. And the body is floating in the pool like that. So then suddenly the lifeguard just jumps into the pool and um, to carry the person out. But then he says, it's a fake person. It's a mannequin with fake blood all over it. And Nancy and her friends are so like curious on who would even do such a thing, especially since they've just like boarded the ship. Well, that incident is only the beginning, and there are so many other incidents that do happen, which I had so much fun reading and solving the mysteries in this book. Well, another incident that did happen in this book was very creepy. <laughs> well, um, the day, you know, when they boarded the ship, they um, Nancy and her friends all got their luggage, but except for Nancy. And Nancy was so, you know, curious on how did she not get her luggage, but all of her other friends did. So she calls her assistant for their hotel room and tells him that she doesn't, she hasn't received her suitcase yet. So then um, he rushes off to find it. A few minutes, like a few hours later, he comes back with Nancy's um, suitcases. But then when Nancy opens one of her luggage up, she sees a threatening note inside. And she, the note says, I hope you get lost, just like your luggage did. And that now Nancy was so confused and she started freaking out. Like, why is someone targeting Nancy herself? And like, this is the second mysterious incident that's happened on the cruise. So now she's really getting confused and curious on what's happening or who's doing all this. And then she's even more confused because she was there the whole time when those luggage people were putting the tags on her suitcases. And she checked that all the info was correct, the info where who the suitcase belonged to, where the suitcase has to go, with like which cruise, which room number, it was all correct. So she was so curious on how did the, her luggage get lost, but all of her friends didn't. So that was only a small incident that happened. Another one was really scary. So one day Nancy and her friends were so bored, but then they found out that the cruise, on the cruise they had this like mini golf station. So they went over and found out it's all Alaskan themed and it looked really cool. So they got all their, you know, the golf um, balls and stuff and then they found out there's this huge moose, like um, a really huge and tall moose that's there as one of the mini golf, you know, things and you have to like hit the ball in the moose. So Nancy was like right um, in front of the moose. So the moose was behind her and she was right under it. So the antlers were kind of draping over her and they were very tall. So 
When she was about to hit the ball, when Nancy, you know, was about to hit the ball, she heard some movement from like behind her. Well then when she looks behind her and kind of upward, she sees one of the antlers are cracking and they're coming down like towards her. Well, thankfully, Nancy moves right in time so she does not get smushed by like the hundred, like, hundred pound antler. And, but she was kind of late because the antler scrapes her arm and she starts bleeding so much. So now Nancy has to rush over to the hospital they had on the cruise and um, the nurse bandaged Nancy's wound up. So don't worry, she felt better in no time. But then she was really freaking out now because she knows that someone was targeting her. So those were only very, only like three incidents that happened in this book and there were so many others. I enjoyed reading this book so much. Like I said in the beginning, I got hooked onto it so much and I can't wait to read the next book in this series. And yes, there are three other books in this series. So if you guys do want to find out what happens, don't worry, I will be reviewing them. And I would definitely not spoil the end of this book because there's this huge twist that happens. But actually, Nancy and her friends do find out the people or the person who did all these incidents, which I would not spoil to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book review. And if you have read this book, then comment down below and tell me what your favorite part was. And if you have not read this book, you're crazy. You need to read this book no matter what. I love this book so much and I'm sure you will too. Please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. Bye everyone and happy holidays.